the, the first business I started there in, in 2000, uh, early 2000 was, um, so I was tracking the market. 20 bill. years ago. That's crazy. Yeah. It's so just go was, by so fast. I was still tracking the, the, the market and there was a company called mp3.com that had IPO'd in the NASDAQ and it was worth $8 billion. And, 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 and my thesis was, why don't we do this? But for Latin America, it's like you have like seven or seven percent of GDP of the world is here. So look, we, we at least a five hundred million dollar opportunity. Right. Uh, you have uh, here in your in, 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 in our doorsteps. So and, and I thought it was a really good solution for independent bands. Uh, so, you know, it's people could promote their music through a website and these bands would You're actually a, Spotify like 10 years earlier, basically. Yeah. But it, it's more like then MySpace actually, I uh, uh, actually pursued this, this route. But in, in the year 2000, internet penetration in Latin America was 1%, one and a half percent. There wasn't AdSense. There wasn't anything, but we reached like 25,000 bands at, at that time. And well, I, I remember after the BBS times when you still could, you know, you'd have to like go online later in the evening so you would save some money. And, uh, you, you know, I remember using uh, Netscape <laughs> and uh, you and you kind of you ran out of stuff to do <laughs> on the Internet, which is the opposite of today. Like maybe you check your email, you read some news and you play a little silly game and it all felt so different. But then, you know, you would, right, like you would run out of stuff to do. Oh, the internet, which is insane to think about. It. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I used to connect to the BBS in, in Argentina, but that was probably earlier. And then 2000, I think there, I had cable and there was a little bit more stuff. AOL was the, the, the king at that time still, which was kind of crazy as a closed loop. Uh, business, but, but look, we launched this business and, and we raised $300,000. We raised it basically going to one lawyer that was investing a lot in different internet companies and, and, and two other. And one of them was the previous investor from the other company. And uh, do you remember the terms? What I do remember and one huge mistake I did is one of the investors, which was the CEO of the previous company of Turas, he said, give me 25% and I'll, and I'll, and, and I'll help you raise capital and, and I'll just give you advice. And, uh, <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> it was like, it was like free equity for, for nothing in return, basically. And, uh, uh I, I I did the same fuck up for my first company. I raised fifty thousand dollars for thirty percent of the company. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I mean, looking at back, I mean, there was there was nothing you could like read that anybody could recommend anything to you. You know, like today people talk about entrepreneurship, entrepreneur. You know, like there's, there's so much uh, best practices and things of sort. Twenty years ago, it's like everybody's figuring yeah. it out, right?